वेलकम टू आर कोर्स ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज थर्मो आयनिक कन्वर्टर सो इन दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टडी इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन दैट एज इट्स डेफिनेशन थर्मो आयनिक कन्वर्टर्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज थर्मो आयनिक जनरेटर्स थर्मो आयनिक पावर जनरेटर्स और थर्मो इलेक्ट्रिक इंजिन इट इज बेसिकली अ क्लास ऑफ डिवाइस दैट कन्वर्ट हीट एनर्जी डायरेक्टली इन टू इलेक्ट्रिक electricity using thermionic emission rather than first changing it to some other form of energy if you recall the direct conversion device which we studied in our first lecture where thermal energy can be directly converted to electrical energy here we can see one example in the form of thermoelectric generators that we had taken pn junction which is a solid state device and it was possible to generate electricity using a temperature gradient as the one is the hot junction and the other is the cold junction and by using the thermoelectric material it is possible to generate electricity so today what we will do we will look at one more such form of direct conversion device which is thermoionic generation so what is thermoionic generation basically it is a static device that converts again remember the word static we are not talking about rotating part we are not okay talk talking about turbo machineries or turbines or compressors or pumps here so it is a static device that convert thermal energy to electricity by utilizing the emission of release of electrons i again repeat it utilizes the emission or release of electrons from a hot emitter surface which is maintained at high temperature and these electron when they are released from the hot emitter surface goes and hits another surface which we call the collector which is at a lower temperature and here it gives up its energy and in the process we generate electricity so i would say thermal ionic generator is a static device that converts thermal energy to electricity by utilizing the release or we can say emission which is the same thing of electrons from a hot emitter surface to a cooler collector surface across a small or narrow inter electrode gap so basically it converts thermal energy energy to electricity by utilizing the release of emission of electrons from the hot emitter surface to a cooler collector surface across a small or narrow in inner electrode gap so the next in this is the history as in the mid 18th century charles frenkos a french chemist noticed that electricity may be conducted in a gaseous manner that is in the form of plasma In 1853 the French physicist Alexander Edmond reported that only a few volts were required to drive electric current through the air between high temperature platinum records from 1882 to 1889 Julius Elster and Hans Kettel of Germany developed a sealed device containing two electrodes and one of which could be heated while the other one was cooled. They discovered that at fairly low temperatures electric current flows with little resistance if the hot electrode is positively charged at moderately high temperature and current flows readily in either direction or however electric charges from the negative electrode flow with the greatest ease in 1880s the american inventor thomas edison applied for a patent pertaining to thermionic emission in vacuum and he explained that a current passes from a heated filament of electric lamp to a conductor in a same glass globe so edison was the first to disclose this form phenomena and it is known as edison effect he made no attempt to exploit it and in 1899 the english physicist jj thomson defined the nature of negative charge carriers and discovered that their ratio of charge to mass correspond to the value he found for electrons and give rise to an understanding of fundamental of thermionic emission in 1915 w shelter proposed that the phenomena be used for generating electricity by early 1930s american chemist irving had developed sufficient understanding of thermionic emission to build basic devices the other scientist george described in detail two kinds of thermionic devices and his work led to rapid advances in thermionic power conversion as these converters are 
tolerant of high acceleration and have no moving part thus they exhibit a relatively large power to weight ratio and well suited for some applications in spacecraft they are focused on system to provide electric power from a nuclear re reactor on board a spacecraft they can provide efficiency in the range of 12 to 15% at the temperature range of 900 to 1500 kelvin so they their current available efficiencies make them suitable power resources for terrestrial application in certain remote or hostile environment the next we will study about its working that how its work a thermionic power converter has two electrodes as you can see in the diagram one of these is raised to a sufficiently high temperature to become a thermionic electron emitter or hot plate the other electrode can called a collector because it receives the emitted electrons in which is operated at a low temperature the space between the electrode is sometimes a vacuum but is filled with vapor or gas at low pressure so the designed they are they can be designed for high reliability and long service life thus thermionic converters have been used in many spacecrafts emission of electrons from a hot plate is analogous to the liberation of steam particles when water is heated these emitted electrons flow toward the collector and the circuit can be completed by interconnecting the two electrodes by an external load as you can see in the diagram the external load is the resistor and the part of the thermal energy that is supplied to liberate the electron is converted directly into the electrical energy and while some of the thermal energy heats the collector and must be removed so this is how it works next a principle of thermionic emission a thermionic power converter can be viewed as an electronic diode that converts heat to electrical energy via thermionic emission It can also be regarded in terms of thermodynamics as a heat engine that utilizes an electron rich gas as its working fluid. Now, a major problem in developing practical thermionic power converter is that it limits on the maximum current density because of its space charge effect. As electrons are emitted from the electrodes, their negative charge repels one another and disrupt the current. Now two solutions have been pursued first it involves reducing the spacing between the electrodes to the order of micrometers and the second is the introduction of positive ions into the cloud of negatively charged electrons in the front of emitter the second method has proved to be the most feasible in many applications especially in manufacturing as it resulted in the development of both cesium and auxiliary charged thermionic power converters which is a type of thermionic converters emission of electron is fundamental to thermionic power conversion the energy required to remove an electron from the surface of an emitter is known as electronic work function denoted by phi its value is characteristic of emitter material and is typically 1 to 5 electron volt some electrons within the emitter have an energy greater than the work function and they can escape the emitter have an energy greater than the work function and it is proportional uh, proportionally depend on the temperature the rate at which electron current in amperes per square meter is emitted from the surface of the emitter is given by richardson dashman equation which is given as j equals to 80 square exponential mi minus 5 by kt amperes per meter cube where t is the absolute temperature in kelvins of emitter e is the electronic charge in coulombs k is boltzmann gas constant in joules per kelvin and r is also characteristic of emitter material this expression for emission current is named for own william richardson and sol dashman who did great work on this phenomena now the rate of emission increases rapidly with emitter temperature and decreases exponentially with the work function and is therefore desirable to choose an electron that escape the emitter surface and have gained energy equal to the work function plus some excess kinetic energy upon striking the collector a uh, part of energy is available to force current
to flow through the external load, thereby giving the desired conversion from thermal to electrical energy and part of this energy is converted to heat that must be removed to maintain the collector at a low temperature. The collector material should have a small work function. So this is the principle of thermoionic converter. The next is the types of thermoionic converter. Thermoionic converter are basically classified into three types, vacuum converter, gas filled or plasma converter and auxiliary discharge converter. The vacuum converters are a type of thermoionic converter which uses a very small gap between the emitter and collector electrodes which is typically of the order of 0.025 to 0.038 millimeter and which is used to minimize the effect of electronic space charge at a temperature of 800 degrees centigrade approximately the electric power is converted in this is near to 0.1 to 1 watt per square centimeter of emitter surface and as a result the vacuum converter has had only limited practical application because the to design such converter with small spacings are dis difficult. Next gas filled or plasma converter. They are designed to the positively charged ions and are con which are con continuously generated and Mixed with negatively charged electron in the space between the emitter and collector to provide a plasma with a relatively neutral space charge. Because of this, a liberated electron encounters little electrostatic resistance force in passing from the emitter to the collector. We may use alkali metal to produce a readily ionizable vapor. Cesium can also be used as it has low ionization potential. Potassium, rubidium may also be used. The vapor pressure is normally of the order of 100 pascals. So this makes gas filled plasma, gas filled or plasma converters useful. An auxiliary discharge converter is an is a converter which has inert gas. Uh, which is used in between the electrodes and this inert gas may be type of neon, argon and xenon. Positive ions are produced by applying voltage to a third electrode. The principal advantage of auxiliary discharge converter it is that it has spark plug type configuration and can operate at a relatively low temperature and it allows a range of conventional fossil fuel to be used as heat source. So this is about the types of converter. The next in this is the advantage of thermoionic converter. They have high efficiency, their power density is high and they are compact in use. Moving towards its disadvantage, they are uh, their po the possibility of vaporization of emitter surface. The next is it has thermal breaking du during the operation. The sealing is often gets failure. The last in this is the application. Uh, thermoionic converters can be used in space power application for spacecraft, in submarines and boats, in water pump for irrigation and in power plant for industry and domestic purpose. I hope you understand the working and principle of thermoionic converters. So this is all about it. I thank you.